Hello and welcome back to another video of the TFL3. Today we're going to find out what the fastest route between London Victoria and London Bridge is. It's the tube. It is literally the tube. What? It's the tube! Okay, it's second fastest. So which is faster? Walking or a 14 stop southern service to London Bridge? Let's find out. So to clear some things up, I cannot start walking until Dylan's train has scheduled to depart at 3.50. Also, I cannot run or jog. I must exclusively walk to London Bridge. And the train is off. Let's go. So here we are, Southern's uh, declassified first class. 14 stops and one hour. Let's go. As I stand here waiting for my crossing in Westminster, I figure I should explain my route. So, I've left Victoria, I'm now walking towards Westminster Abbey and Westminster Bridge, where I then walk past Waterloo, and then along the south bank, past stations like Blackfriars, before I finally arrive at London Bridge. Hopefully before Dylan. Let's go. So I am outside the world famous Westminster Abbey, a centuries old building that thousands of tourists a year flock to visit. However, this historical site is best viewed from the outside. Why you may ask? Because they charge you £27 entry. I think not. Let's keep going. Ah, what is a visit to London without Big Ben? I mean there's not really anything to actually see there, it's just kind of a clock tower. Like I mean. Look at all these people. What? Do you not have clocks in your country? This is Balham, the only London Underground station, because it's an underground station connected to a national rail station, that has no letters from the word underground in it. Right, so I'm standing in the Electro Star Gangway, just so I can speak a bit louder and not annoy anyone. Um, okay, we just passed... We're coming into Gypsy Hill. So we're about halfway into the journey, almost. Uh, yeah, feeling pretty good about this. Uh, definitely going to beat Daniel. Yeah, walking can't be fast in the train, can it? This is by far the most difficult point of my journey, Westminster Bridge, notorious tourist choke point. Oh boy, wish me luck. Eh, I guess it's all right. The London Eye. Out of all the Ferris wheels I've seen, it's certainly a big one. Ah, Waterloo Station. This is a bit more my turf. Yeah. You know, the further I get from trains, the more anxious I get. Crystal Palace. We've just left Crystal Palace. Uh, we're joining the overground track as far as Newcross Gate and then up to London Bridge, so we're more than halfway. Daniel's not reading this. Just a quick one for all the trolls out there. Um, you kind of have a point because I don't know why I do this. None of us have any idea why we do this. We just enjoy it. Yeah, so it's just how we spend our weekend. Yeah, strange. Anyway, next stop, Sydenham. Next station is Forest Hill. Park. The train is lovely and quiet now. Doesn't look like anyone wants to go to London Bridge. They'd all rather go to Victoria. What should I do? Throw a party? I'm going to ask all my uni friends if they want to join me on this train and celebrate my victory. Hi. I'm struggling for comedy because there's not a lot of humour to be found 
on this journey. Apart from the fact that I'm on a train that is, let's face it, almost certainly going to be slower than walking. Penis. Now, okay, this is interesting. Uh, this bridge going over Broccoli Station uh, is between Lewisham and Nunhead on uh, the southeastern line into Victoria. Now, because of engineering works today, southeastern are running services fast from Lewisham to London, Victoria. In fact, that's how I got to Victoria. So, um, yeah, we've come all the way from Victoria in about 50 minutes, and the train that's just gone over is going to get to Victoria in about 15. So I have just crossed Blackfriars Road and safe to say I am getting a little bit anxious because I've got no idea where Dylan is. He could be approximately anywhere and I am still on the walk to London Bridge. Still, I think I'm making good time. So yeah, let's keep going and see what happens. We're pulling into New Cross Gate. Daniel has updated me. He says he's past Waterloo. I have a chance here. So does he. Mm. Okay, so Dylan's informed me that he has left New Cross Gate, which means his next stop is London Bridge. Uh, I've really got to get my pace up because I must have been held up by all those tourists in Westminster. Damn. Okay, next stop London Bridge. See the uh, Bermondsey Dive under over there. Not sure if it's picking it up properly because I mean the sunlight is quite intense today. Beautiful summer's day. This is going to be close because Daniel's past Blackfriars now, so I'm f***ing myself. Actually, no, I've just inspected the lavatory and decided not to f*** myself because that would be unpleasant to have to go in there. Dylan has arrived and I have not. The shard is still there. I've still got a little way to go. So there you have it guys, that answers your question. The train is faster by, I'm not sure how much, it depends how long it takes me to get there, I suppose. Daniel just confirmed to me my victory. I have won. Southern's round of service, taking one hour to get between London Bridge and London Victoria is not slower than walking. Yep, London Bridge Station, I can literally see him. He hasn't seen me yet, but like, he's just past that building. No. There's the shard. He's probably gonna be really smug, isn't he? There he is. There, he is. there we go. And so there you have it, challenge completed. The train is not slower than walking. Which is which was a surprise because I was expecting walking to be quicker. What were you expecting? I was probably expecting the same to be honest. Yeah, especially because Daniel walks really quickly, even though I told him walk at a normal speed. Which I he, did. That's uh, probably why I lost. Yeah. Uh well, anyway, if you like this content then please subscribe to see more. Uh and thank you for watching.